Howdy folks, Creepy Kentucky and back with you again from Dead Pit Radio. Today we got another review, what do you know? Visual Vengeance is back. One of our favorite new boutique labels, just because some of these titles, like The Abomination, the one we're talking about today, have never been out on anything before really. This one in particular... Our buddy Lewis Justin over at Massacre Video did VHS run of this. Never did a DVD of this for whatever reason. And finally in 2023, this movie is getting a disc release on Blu-ray, no less. So Visual Vengeance, it's part of Wild Eye releasing. They give these low-budget, almost no-budget movies a shot. And release them with tons of bonus material and special features and everything. And to me, I just think that's cool. Because a lot of these films, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, they've been numerous, numerous releases over the years. But this has never been released on any disc until now. The Abomination from 1986. This one was shot in Super 8. So not necessarily a shot on video movie, which I know Visual Vengeance has released plenty of those as well, but it looks close to it. It's very, very grimy, um, you know, not the, not the cleanest looking Blu-ray you've ever seen, but it's super eight. So anyway, we're going to talk about the movie. We're going to get into the special features on this thing, too, which is quite a bit. And there is some bonus guts, baby, inside this desk, if you will. And we're going to talk about those, too. We're going to go toe-to-toe with the abomination. It does begin with a highlight reel of gore and some of the best scenes in the movie. And then the movie kind of starts. It's kind of weird. But anyway, the movie stars Scott Davis as Cody whose mother is obsessed with a televangelist on TV by the name of Brother Fogg, who has convinced her that she has a tumor inside of her. As soon as she realizes this, she vomits the tumor up, which it's not really a tumor, it's a spore of the abomination. Once grown, becomes a carnivorous creature. But anyway, the spore, she of course throws it in the garbage. And the spore has a mind of its own, and it decides to get inside of her son, Cody, and take control over him. Cody is then forced to kill to feed the creature, and then there pops up like three or four different creatures. One under the stove, there's one in a cabinet, you know, they kind of pop up everywhere. Big, teethy, grimy creatures. Can anyone save mankind from the abomination? Very crudely made, but interesting special effects, makeup effects, gore effects, and everything, which a movie like The Abomination had a pretty huge cult following, underground following. The VHS tape of this thing goes for like $1,000, which is insane. It was released back in the day from ultra low budget genre VHS label Donna Michelle Productions, which all of their tapes are worth a ton of money. Uh, Cannibal Camp Out is another one of their big tapes from back in the day. Um, so yeah, just kind of regional release that kind of through word of mouth developed a cult, cult following. But anyway, th- is this movie good? No, it's not good. But if you're a fan of bad movies that you kind of get a kick out of just crudely made, poorly acted, ultra gory movies, The Abomination is for you. It's got some goofy moments in it. It's ridiculous. A lot of the scenes. It's Super 8, so all the audio in it had to be overdubbed or redone because Super 8, there's no audio at all. And... The, some of the, I guess the Foley artist or whoever it was, it was probably the director, just went overboard in some in certain scenes. In certain scenes, it's fine, but in other scenes, it's like ridiculous, like footsteps and stuff like that. I had fun with this, guys. I am not hard to please when it comes to these really low-budget, crappy movies from the 80s. 
it had been many years since I'd seen The Abomination. Now, picture quality is not good, right? But this is probably the best that The Abomination will ever look. Like I said, this was shot for a buck fifty back in 1986. Eh, you know, it's never really going to look great. It's impossible for it to look great. I mean, maybe they could do like an AI-generated version of The Abomination in 10 years when the technology... You know gets better but it is what it is if this sounds like something that you're into look into it you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna recommend this unless you're into that sort of thing now this particular version is killer they did a great job with this this has a slip cover right and then this is the original artwork here from the vhs days and there's tons of bonus stuff in this too, which we'll get into that. We got all kinds of stuff to dig into here. The disc inside there. And then if you wanted to reverse it and go with a different artwork, a more, more of a modern visual vengeance style artwork, the dude designs did this one. Tons and tons of special features included on this as well. There's commentaries, there's interviews with the director, some actors from the movie. There's actually an interview with the VHS distributor, Michael Jack Scholl, who was from Dawn of Shell Productions. Filming locations, tour, Super 8 outtakes, raw footage, behind the scenes. Load it up, guys. Tons of stuff on this. And as usual, per usual... You get a whole boatload of bonus goodies, baby, thrown in inside the case here. Now, interesting thing here that I hadn't seen them do before. This is a comic book adaptation of The Abomination included. And this is all black and white comic book style artwork, which is kind of a comic book version of the movie itself, which is interesting. You know, some really cool artwork there. Sticker sheets as well. Visual Vengeance sticker sheet. Mother video. And some Abomination stickers. And they always throw in these video store rental top stickers in there as well, which is fun. I have a ton of those. There's a little booklet thrown in that talks about the making of and everything. And rounding it out, you have a poster of the newly commissioned artwork from the Dude Designs, Tom Hodge. So that is it for the review, guys. The Abomination is out now from Visual Vengeance and Wild Eye Releasing. If this sounds like something that you're into, you'll probably dig it. I can't wholeheartedly highly recommend it or anything. But if you're a weirdo into just weird, like, low-budget, shitty movies, this is another one to add to the collection. I know there's a lot of stuff to choose from this fall. But this is out now. Check it out if you'd like and check us out. We are over at deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do it I all. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpit.com. Simply the best horror shirts. On T Public, there are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out 
a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1. Thank you.